This is Will Crown, creator of The Dad Hustle Show, back for another episode. This is episode number 26, I believe. I wanna to talk to you guys about purpose. What's your why? Many of you know that over the past couple of years, I've actually become a voracious reader as I've kind of dove into personal development and, and trying to be the best version of myself. One of the books that I just finished up was a quick read, believe it or not, Steve Jobs by Karen Blumenthal. Awesome book, but it talks obviously all about you know, Bill Gates. No, just kidding. Talks about Steve Jobs and the amazing things that he did in changing the industry, not only the computer industry with the personal computer and Apple, Macintosh and all that stuff, but God, he changed obviously the, the phone industry, the music industry with iTunes. He even changed the film industry with Pixar. Like he's done so much. This book is just a biography. So it goes into his life story. It doesn't necessarily detail the insight, what you can pull out, the actual nuggets. Do that on your own. But I just started reading another book, Start With Why, by Simon Sinek. Believe it or not, he's talking already about Steve Jobs as well and Apple Computer. He's basically detailing why Apple Computers soared above its competition. It wasn't because its computers were that much better. The sleek designs they came out with, though all that stuff was true, but it's really ultimately because they started with why. From the very beginning, Apple Computers said that their reason for building products was to challenge the status quo. I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen this before, but I'm gonna show you a quick clip here of a commercial from Apple Computers in 1984, widely known as one of the best commercials to market a product in history. Check it out. Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification directives. We have created for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology, where each worker may bloom, secure from the pests of a contradictory force. Communication of force is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people, with one will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own country. On January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. Little Orson Welles reference there at the end. Now there's a premise in this book that Simon Sinek talks about called The Golden Circle. And I'm not going to get into a lot of details about it. Definitely go check out this book. Read it for shizzle, okay? It's that good. The Golden Circle deals with relationships, which also, of course, then deals with why people buy things and are, have the relationship that they have with a company. You actually picture a circle with three rungs. You've got the outside rung, which is what you actually do. Then as you go inside the circle, you've got another rung that says how you do what you do. And lastly, the core of the circle is why. Why you do what you do. That logo was created by Logo Cabana, my wife's company. Most companies would say, we make great computers. They're beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. Do you wanna buy one? That's going from the outside in. But if you really want people that are loyal to you, you have to believe in something that's bigger than yourself and an actual cause. So you gotta start from the inside of the circle and go out. The way Apple marketed their products was, everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. And we happen to make great computers. Wanna buy one? Do you see the difference? Even the feeling that it gives you. Apple computer in their marketing plan all started with why we do what we do. No, they start with why from the very beginning. Definitely check it out. Great read. If you like biographies, another good read. That being said, we've talked before about the, the purpose of this show. I remind all of you guys, and really more than anything, is to remind me why I am creating that hustle. It all boils down to this. When I was like 26, 27, 28 years old, I was doing some mixed martial arts. Uh, even had a professional fight and, and was really enjoying myself because I was a wrestler back in school. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed getting physical with guys and stuff like that. I had somebody in my life that I really respected at the time. They told me, you need to focus just on your kid. You're a dad now. You don't need to worry about doing that kind of stuff. You can help your kids to do that someday. What they were trying to say was good at the core of its intention, but what they said dramatically affected me in a negative way. I started to shrink back, and I've seen lots of people do this before. Maybe you've done it. Maybe you know somebody who has. If people haven't already reached a pinnacle of success in their life, they haven't achieved their dreams, oftentimes after they have kids, they use the kids as an excuse as to why to stop pursuing that passion. Well, now I have children. I'm a dad, so I guess it's 
past that point for me. In fact, I wanna fight against that, and that's why we're doing Dad Hustle. There is passion, dreams, life after children. Though my kids are everything to me, and I pour everything into them, as should you, you've gotta find your purpose on this earth and fulfill it to the max. Go after it. Let them be the reason you succeed, not the excuse as to why you stop. Maybe you feel like your sole purpose is just to be a great dad. That's freaking awesome. And if that's the case, you are in the right place. Maybe you feel like your sole purpose is to go you know, write a book or be a cage fighter or star in a movie or be a music producer or just be a freaking mega mogul entrepreneur. You are in the right place because we're here to maximize our potential. This is a weekly show, but I put out content every day on Instagram and Twitter and social media platform. On Twitter, you can find me at Will Crown and on Instagram, it's at Dad Hustle. You know what to do, subscribe to Throw It In Drive. As always guys, my name is Will Crown. I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Start with why, keep hustling dads. You can't stop me!